Hi boys and girls, this is Mrs. Kopecki again with Cursive Writing Lesson 5. So today we're going to learn about lowercase j and p. Now at the beginning of the year when we uh, printed a j, I said please start on the middle line or the dotted line and go all the way down into the basement before you make your tail and then go back with a dot. Well, when we were writing cursive, we're going to add the uphill stroke from the bottom up to our beginning point, and we have to add an ending stroke, which means we're going to follow through like that so that we can continue on with the next letter, whatever comes after the J. Let's practice some together. We're going to start on the bottom line and make our uphill stroke to the dotted line stop, go straight down into the basement, touch the next line, follow through, making sure that it crosses over right on the baseline. When we're finished, we go back and put our dot in between the top line and the middle line. Let's try another one. Start on the bottom line, uphill stroke, down in the basement, make a loop, Make sure it crosses over on the baseline, and then go back and dot it. All right, let's move on to the letter P. When we print a P, we start on the dotted line. We go straight down into the basement, trace back up, and make the, um, the ball of the letter ending right there on the line, and it ends right on the baseline. When we have a cursive P, we're going to add an uphill stroke like this and an ending stroke that goes out like that. Let's see if we can try some. We start on the baseline. We're going to make our uphill stroke to the dotted line, go all the way down in the basement, trace back exactly back up, go around connect on that stem right there and go outward for our ending stroke. Let's try another. Start on the baseline, uphill stroke, down in the basement, trace back up, make the circle, stop at the stick, and back out. And that is lowercase p. Go ahead and pause here if you like and make a few. And now we're going to move on to make some words. So the first word we can make is Jeep, of course, with a J and a P. So we're going to start with our J. And we make our uphill stroke to the dotted line. Down in the basement, we're going to make a loop. Remember, it crosses on the baseline. And then it goes right into the E. Short letter, touches the baseline. Another E, touch the baseline. And we're going to go right up into the P, stops at the dotted line, straight down in the basement, follow it back up over the same line, make the circular part, stop at the stem, and out. Don't forget, dotted line, or put the dot on top of the J. Another word we can make is the word help. We start on the baseline, a loop up for the H, straight down. Here, go back up for the hump, and this goes right into the E, and uh, the L is very tall, and it goes right into the P, uphill to the P, down into the basement, trace back up, oops, so oh, sorry, trace exactly back up, loop around, connect on the stem, and make our ending line outward. Another word we can make is peak. So we're going to start with the P this time. Uphill, down in the basement, back up, around, connect. We're going to go outward for the one E, another E, and straight up for the tall K. Come around for the loop diagonally down with a tail. And there is peak. And now you can make a phrase 
help put up. So we get to go down here to the bottom line and we'll write help again, tall H. There's our hump into the E. The L is tall. Touch the bottom. Short P. Oh dear, I forgot to draw one more line. Let's pretend it stops right there. Go back up. Make the circular part. And outward. And now leave a good space before we write put. So we're going to go outward or uphill stroke down in the basement, trace back up, and up for the U, there's our U, touch the bottom, and into the tall T, trace back down, touch the bottom, and cross the T. And next we need up, nice space between words, here's the U, uphill, up again, touch the baseline, and down in the basement, trace back up, connect, and outward ending stroke. And there you have J and P, the end of lesson five.